do you have any ideas what the king's chamber could be? Could that possibly be a resonance chamber? chamber? It was a sound chamber. When all that started to happen, you're going to think when voltage breaks water, there's sound and it starts to echo, right? And that echo would vibrate the king's chamber. And because of the way that it's built, there's like um, different tones that go throughout the whole pyramid, pushing that energy all the way up. There's a couple more uh, details that have to be added. But as far as I'm aware, because of the way that the pyramid worked, the whole base around the pyramid, there was temples that were built in front of the pyramid, behind the pyramid. And these are what the uh, Egyptian priests used. And they had an ankh that would sit hanging on their waist. And everybody thought it was a religious item. Well, perhaps it was, but it, it had a lot more significance than that. So these Your temples, technology? Yes, it was. It was actually a tuning fork, but it was a special <laughs> tuning fork. So these, t these chambers or these temples that were at the base of the pyramid, they had two rooms in it. Uh, and let's say, okay, the, they referred to them as slaves. I don't think they were slaves. I think they had incentive and actually got paid. So uh, one of the slaves, let's say, broke his arm. He'd come to the priest, the priest would go, okay, He'd look at his charts and go, you have to come back at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Because the temple that he would bring them to had slits all around the very top of the temple so that the sun could come in at whatever angle at that time of day was needed. So at 2 o'clock, the person would come in. He would sit in the bigger room that was an echo chamber. The priest would go in the smaller room behind him and there was a square that went between both rooms. That's where he put the onk in. And he would smack that sucker and it would vibrate throughout that room. The light coming in would come down at a certain angle, hitting the person who sat on that seat and would uh, give them the frequency of light, sound. And here's the beautiful part. Because the pyramid would cause the area all around it to have a negative energy because the way that it would charge separate the whole environment mm -hmm. those people that were sitting in that chair would get enveloped with energy vibration like energy which is vibration light and, and sound and what would that do a broken arm takes about six weeks when the priest was done with him and he left three days later he'd be back to work